Hi, good day. Let us learn about the different forms of electromagnetic waves. Humans are still blind too much of what surrounds them, despite the accurate view of the world that their eyes have given them. There exists a universe of colors belonging to a thin band of visible spectrum that the human eye can detect. In your earlier science classes, you have learned that this optical spectrum is actually a color continuum from red to violet that it corresponds to different energies of light. Meanwhile, we encounter the visible spectrum when we listen to the radio, eat microwaved food, or have our broken bones x-rayed. Perhaps, during these times, we do not realize that the radio, x-ray, and microwave are also energies of light. In the following discussion involving atoms and radiation, we cannot fail to consider the wave-like nature of electromagnetic radiation as accepted by most scientists during the latter half of the 1800s. In 1803, Thomas Young's double slit interference experiment provided the first experimental evidence to a wave theory of light. By the 1860s and 1870s, James Clerk Maxwell had provided a convincing wave description of light and of other forms of electromagnetic radiation. According to Maxwell, an electromagnetic wave is an electrical and magnetic disturbance that moves through space at the speed of light, equivalent to 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second, or equivalent to 300 million meters per second. You probably recognize the names of most of the different types of electromagnetic waves. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, light, ultraviolet radiation, x-rays, and gamma rays, and in the way they are produced and interact with matter. The waves are similar in that they all move at the speed of light and consist of moving electric and magnetic field. Accelerating electrons produce electromagnetic waves. These waves are a combination of electric and magnetic fields. A changing magnetic field produces an electric field and a changing electric field produces a magnetic field. As accelerated electrons produce an electric field of a wave, the varying electric field produces the wave's magnetic field. Both the electric field and the magnetic field oscillates perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the propagating waves. All electromagnetic waves can travel through a medium, but unlike other types of waves, they can also travel in vacuum. They travel in vacuum at the speed of light and denoted as C, the speed of light. The wave speed, frequency, and wavelengths are related by the following equation. V is equal to lambda times frequency, where V is the wave speed, or C is speed of light expressed in meters per second. The frequency, or F, is expressed in hertz, and the wavelength lambda is expressed in meters. Since all the EM waves have the same speed, and that is equal to the speed of light, as wavelength decreases, the frequency of the wave increases. Let us have this example. What is the frequency of radio waves with wavelengths of 20 meters? The given quantities are C is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and the wavelength is equal to 20 meters. Using the equation V is equal to lambda times F, then the equation for F is equal to C all over the lambda. Substitute the given quantities, so we have 3 times 10 raised to the 8 meters per second, all over 20 meters, the frequency of radio waves is equal to 1.5 times 10 raised to the 7 hertz. Do this example. The answer is... Earlier, you have learned that the directions of the electric and magnetic fields at a point in space would alternate back and forth. The frequency of the wave produced is the number of complete vibrations per second of the field at a point along the path of the passing wave. Electromagnetic waves are often classified by frequency in a scheme called the electromagnetic spectrum. This figure provides a wealth of information about the many forms of electromagnetic waves. The electromagnetic spectrum is a continuum of electromagnetic waves arranged according to frequency and wavelengths. It is a gradual progression from the waves of lowest frequencies to the waves of highest frequencies. 
According to increasing frequency, the electromagnetic spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. These waves do not have exact dividing region. The different types of electromagnetic waves are defined by the amount of energy carried by or possessed by the photons. Photons are bundles of wave energy. The energy of a photon is given by the equation E is equal to H times F, where H is the Planck's constant and F is the frequency of the EM wave. The value of the Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joules per second. As can be gleaned from this diagram, a particular frequency region in the electromagnetic spectrum includes waves produced in a similar manner. Infrared waves are produced by molecular vibrations, whereas radio waves are produced by charges vibrating back and forth in antennas. The boundaries between regions are not sharp. The low radio frequency region consists of waves used mostly for communication. Microwaves, the next part of the electromagnetic spectrum, are used for radar tracking, radio navigation, communications, heating in microwave ovens, drying, and other industrial purposes. The infrared portion of the spectrum is often emitted and absorbed because of the vibration of atoms and molecules. For example, infrared absorbed by your skin causes the amplitude of vibration of molecules in your skin to increase. Your skin is warmed. For this reason, infrared waves are sometimes called heat or thermal radiation. The portion of the electromagnetic spectrum that includes visible light waves starts with red light and ends with violet light. This tiny portion of the whole electromagnetic spectrum is important to humans because of the sensitivity of our eyes to light. Light waves are caused by the motion of electrons in atoms as they jump between different orbits. At even higher frequencies, ultraviolet radiation and X-rays are also produced by the motion of electrons in atoms. Ultraviolet radiation darkens the skin. X-rays are used for examining the interiors of objects that are opaque to light, such as the human body. The spectrum is completed by high-frequency gamma rays produced by the motion of charged particles in nuclei. With regards to wavelengths, radio waves can be likened to the size of a football field while gamma rays are as small as the nuclei of an atom. This table shows the relative wavelengths, frequency, and energy of each of the different types of electromagnetic waves. Let us check your comprehension. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.